What's going on, Akira hunters? If you're wondering about steps of how to buy an Akira in Japan, this video is for you. Join me as I uncover the exact steps I took to find, analyze, and buy an Akira property in the city of Yokohama. So right now, I'm in the middle of renovating this property, so we're going to focus on the purchase process for this video. But I'll be talking more about the renovation process in the future video, so be sure to hit the subscribe button so you won't miss them. So the following are the exact steps I took to buy my Akira. Here we go. Step one, the search. So the first step I took was searching for the property, but more importantly, deciding on the area I was going to invest. I was looking for a small single family house with a budget under 8 million yen, just outside of Tokyo, specifically Kanagawa, Saitama, and Chiba prefectures. There are a couple of reasons why I chose this area. One, I'm based in Yokohama, which is in Kanagawa prefecture, so I want to build a portfolio relatively near me. Two, my budget was too low to buy something in Tokyo. And three, as long as you stay within 60 to 90 minutes from Tokyo, I know there will always be demand for rental houses, especially single family houses. I just did a whole video on why I'm buying single family houses as opposed to apartment units in Japan. So be sure to check that out after watching this. After being clear about the criteria, I started to look at online sites such as At Home and Sumo. I also reached out to a real estate company who specializes in sourcing off-market Akia deals in the area I was looking to invest. So in short, I I looked for deals on publicly available sites myself and also had deals coming to me that met the criteria. And that was done by the real estate company. If you ask a real estate company to source deals for you, it's very important to be as specific as possible. Real estate companies want to help you, but they want to be as efficient as possible helping you. By letting them know exactly what you're looking for, they can source the right deals for you that you might actually end up buying. So here's what I sent to the real estate company to look for off-market deals. Goals, buy four to five single family IKEA properties that need some work or are owned by motivated sellers in 2024. Buy them with cash rehab them to be rent ready and rent to a quality long-term tenant. Criteria, single family houses with two to three bedrooms, two LDK or three LDK in greater Tokyo, preferably in Kanagawa for the first two deals. Ideally within 15 to 20 minutes of walking distance, from the nearest station. Budget, for the first deal, under 8 million yen, all in. This includes purchasing the property, closing costs, broker fees, taxes, and renovation costs. Timeline, I'd like to find and close my first deal by March, 2024. I understand that great deals are harder to come by in today's market. If you find and present to me something that you think would fit my criteria, I will make an offer. Well, I obviously translated in English, so let me give you the actual Japanese version. 目標 1件目は自己負担総額で800万円以下。この金額は売買代金、仲介手数料、固定資産税、登記費用、リフォーム代を全て含む。タイムライン。最初の1件目は2024年の3月までに購入規模。今の市場では良い物件はすぐに売れてし
So that's something to know. After about a month of analyzing multiple deals a day, I came across an abandoned house that's in great location. So I called a real estate company that found the off-market deal and asked for a walkthrough. I went to walk through the property, look at the layout, overall condition of the property, and ask a couple of my mentor investors if they thought it was a good deal or not. After going through the pros and cons of the property, I thought the pros outweighed the cons, so I decided to move forward with it. Step number three, the purchase process. The formal purchase process in Japan begins when the potential buyer submits a formal purchase application called Fudosan Kaitsuke Moshikomi Show. It's basically a formal offer letter. If the offer price is lower than the asking price, the seller has an option to counter offer. My offer got formally accepted by the seller, so we moved on to finalizing the contract. This happened a couple of weeks after submitting the application. I just had to sign a lot of paperwork, including a power of attorney document. For this property, I actually chose to close remotely. All I had to do was just sign the power of attorney to my shiho shoshi or judicial scrivener to handle the transfer of the title on the closing day. So if you're wondering if you have to be in Japan to purchase real estate, you don't have to. You can give your power of attorney to someone else to handle the purchase process for you as long as you wire the funds to the designated account by the closing day. So why did I choose to go through this process remotely even though I live in the same city as where the property is? Because it can be very time consuming. So in Japan, the real estate broker usually goes over this Jiyojiko Sesmesho, aka Important Information Manual, line by line, and there is multiple papers so many pages and they go by one by one and it can be a very lengthy process. I was able to just read through them by myself and didn't have any major questions about the contract. So I was able to save by doing this remotely because I've done this multiple times and I know what they usually say. And after I signed all the contract documents, I was instructed to wire the money to the real estate company for the purchase price. Bye bye daikin, broker fee, chukai tesuryo, property tax, kote shisanze, and stamp duty, shunyu inshi. I pay the title transfer fee Tokyo to the judicial scrivener separately. So a few days later, I got the keys to the property along with all the documents that state the new ownership of the property. Step number four, the team. Even though I bought the property all cash and I don't have monthly mortgage payments to make, I want to fix it up, market it, and rent it out to a tenant as quickly as possible. For this deal, I've decided to outsource the renovation process, so I hired a team to go through this process in a timely manner. Some people choose to DIY the renovation process and some people outsource it. As an investor, I prefer to find someone who can do the job way better than me and pay them well to do the job for me. And for me, the time and effort it takes to complete the renovation process isn't worth the money I might save by doing it on my own. I get a much better return on my investment if I actually work on other income generating activities, especially what if I make a mistake for doing something that I've never done before. I'm aware that this is a luxury that I have, but one day I'm planning to take on the renovation project myself. It might take a long time, it might cost me a lot more, but yeah, I'm curious and I wanna do that one day. It's just not right now. There you have it. These are the exact four steps I took to buy my Akia house in Japan. And if you wanna learn more about this topic, be sure to grab the free guide, how to buy an Akia in Japan as a foreigner. You can download it for free. The link is below. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, you're gonna like this one next. See you in the next one.